So now we're back and we're looking at doing around the outside um, the salt technique. And this is the way we did it or the way I did it last time. And the color I used was mauve. It's very, very soft, but I'm very much inspired <laughs> to do it different because these two images have very different energies. And your mandala is gonna have a different energy. So follow your energy. You might actually, oh man, should we? Should I? I just thought, wow, what would that spring green be like all the way around it? Is it the green I would have put around? Because at first I was thinking that maybe I would put this reddish around, but no, I think it might be the green. You know what, we each get to choose our own color. You can do whatever color you want. And I'm just feeling inspired by the green. So I'm going to, since I just, I have this green here, but I want, um, if you look in here, that spring green, I want more yellow than this. I don't think I want it quite that dark all the way around. And the other thing is, I think it would be fun to have several greens, like very wet. Have it be very wet around here with a couple different greens um, that are all in harmony together and then put the salt on. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It feels very wild and crazy for me because green, painting with green, maybe isn't something that I'm so accustomed to, but it feels really right. So I'm gonna mix up my green and I want you guys to mix up your color and you have complete permission to do whatever color. You might like the more pinky mauve. You might like to do sky back here. It could be that if you did sky and salt, like the same that you did here, that this is a ring and you're looking through this ring and that this sky back here could be an extension of that. Hmm. Oh, I think I may have changed my mind again. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go for a walk in the gardens and I'm going to come back and I'm going to mix up my color. And I think it might be the blue. Or maybe blue and green. All right, you guys decide what you want to do and mix up your color. And I'm going to surprise you. The next time I turn on the uh, camera, I'm going to have my colors mixed for the background. And why don't you do the same thing? Why don't you pause the video here and really find your happy place. When you think of what color you want to put back here, it could be an orangey yellow all the way around. It could be your mom's favorite color. It could be your favorite color. The only thing I would stay away from is using this same uh, color. It needs to be a little bit different so that it sets uh, itself apart. All right, I'm leaning in and you're seeing my shirt. So, um, all right, the next time we turn the video on, we're all gonna have our colors mixed. Okay, I have my color mixed and I've started to go around the outside with clear water. And I want you to just be tight around the circle. Follow the little line. Go back. I'm gonna to need to go back and look at where I started. Make sure that everything stays wet. You can use a smaller brush around this edge. And then if you have a bigger brush, you can use a bigger brush to lay down the water. Out here. And you can't see me right now, but my head is really low and I'm looking across the paper to see where it's wet and to see where it's dry. And I'm making sure that I have, now this is where I started. And it's, it's still wet, but 
not as wet as I want it. So right now, you're just going to watch me do the technique. Um, if you've started, you can keep, if you've started, pause the video. And you can get caught up with me. Like I said, I'm going all the way around. I may have to re, just make sure everything is wet. Everything has a little bit of a glisten to it. And then I decided to use Prussian blue. I decided to go really dark. Dark with Prussian blue. Let me go to get up against here. I'm going to try to go around the circle and get everything really close. Take your time. If you're, when you start to paint. This is probably the most important line going around here. So you just really be very focused. And then once we have that drawn, we're gonna be able to go in and put that blue all the way out to the edges. Now you may have chose mauve, you may have chose green, whatever color you chose. For me, this is like space. I have the element of earth, the sky is space, and this is like even bigger space than sky. All right, and I've got my Prussian blue. That's not the Prussian blue. And there's the Prussian blue that I'm gonna add some water to. it all nice and wet. You can just add water as you're going. Wet on wet. You guys have done wet on wet before. Wet on wet. In California, it's a little bit of a warm day today. In fact, I even baked bread, so it's even pretty warm in the house. So my paper's drying pretty quickly. I'm about to have a, probably a friend walk in. You remember you? And the dog's probably gonna bark. And I'm just gonna say, come on in, Nana. Sure, I have my salt ready too.
this definitely got dry right along that edge. I'm just going to activate and get a little bit of water going. So you can see how much um, paint I'm using to get it to be this dark. Now, when I did the mauve on the other one, I didn't use that much paint because I was really going for something much more pastel -y, so it didn't require a lot of paint. But I'm wanting this to be much more saturated. And I bet when I turn this paper, I'm gonna find that there's dry things drying over there as well. And there is, I can see it. Now I'm just gonna get this wet. You can actually hear, you can hear when you've started to hit a drier area. By just reactivating it. Let me just say it's going to be easier to do more of a pastel color because you can get it wet and lay down a pastel so much quicker. Um, so to lay down the, the, more, the more solid color, you just have to keep working and making sure that you're staying very wet because we want to throw salt on this, and in order to throw salt, we have to have wet, don't we? All right, I'm gonna look at my whole drawing, and I'm realizing I've got areas. Be very careful, too, to make sure I drag this paint along the outside of the painting, because um, a big blue dot in the middle would be hard to get rid of, but it would be one of those things that you would just say, ah, that's okay. Let's turn that big dot like into a bluebird or something. All right. Okay, I don't think I can afford the time to muss around with it a little bit too much more, but I'm gonna go through and just add some water Being very careful as I add the water. To make sure that I'm not dripping. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen with the salt. Mm. As soon as I add the salt, I stop. Everything is wet back there. I'm just gonna see what magic the element of salt, which is, oops, I'm spilling salt all over my floor. There's a lot of salt on the floor. Okay. Yeah, 
just because it made me smile, I'm going to see about just putting some dots of water. You can see that the water starts to drag it in a little in a direction. I have to be careful because the other, I want to make sure that if I tip it this way, that the other side of the drawing doesn't bleed in. And you guys have a painting board. I have a painting table. My mom's not here to tell me I can't do this. <laughs> see what happens. Now this is when we walk away. I'm having a hard time walking away, can you tell? I'm just going to make sure that these little edges of white are painted. All right, friends, let's see what happens. I'll see you later. Well, friends, the journey comes to an end. I used Prussian blue and salt. Had no idea what was going to happen. I'm really glad I walked away because I was thinking, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And I just walked away. I went into a garden where there's a bunch of tulips. I looked at the tulips and when I came back. I thought, wow. Yeah, it turned out well. I'm pleased with it. That's what happened with the Prussian blue all the way around. I want to, you saw how dark it was. It was very wet. I did salt. And then it was so wet. I'm going to show you what I did. It was so wet that I put my a jar here and I put it on, I balanced it on top of a jar and I actually took um, my fingers on the edge and bent it down like this so that the paint could drip off of the painting. And so you can even see the paint here. So when I, this was dry and there's a bunch of paint here. All I did is I took the brush and dipped it down here. So the paint connected with the brush and then it dripped down to the side. Otherwise I would have ended up with some big dark puddles. So that's what I did. The Remember our test to see if it's dry? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, when I look at it, it definitely looks dry. Um, actually, there's a there's a wet corner here, and most of it there's a little bit of wet here. So I am gonna wait 24 hours before I try to scrub off any of that salt. So I am really looking forward to seeing your final product and what color you decide to put around your outside. And I want to thank you so much for going on this adventure with me. Um, these are very interesting times and I know that you guys are um, used to being in a classroom, not being on a, in a video. So it was really fun for me to be able to connect with you um, and have this journey with you. Blessings.